Hello, Paul Robinson from bushcraftcanada.com and uh, we've just had in a uh, delivery from Follivan of the Pro Series range of knives and I'm going to do a quick video here, this is on the uh, F1 Pro and I think, actually I don't think I know, this is one of the most anticipated um, knives we've had certainly for a long time, we've had a tremendous number of uh, queries and emails and questions about these series of knives and um, it's really great to uh, to finally have them in. Uh, first thing, of course, you can see is they come in a really nice case. This is the F1. You get a really nice solid case here. Um, a couple of other features you'll see. Uh, you know, beautifully padded case. Um, there's an upgraded sheath. They give you a DC4 in with the knife. And uh, the knife itself, which I'll show you now, um, I'll go through some of the changes. It is slightly different from the original. So this is the, uh, the F1 Pro. Um, as you can see, it's based on the original F1, and I'll show you that in comparison here. The F1, of course, has uh, been one of Folliven's best-selling knives from day one. Tremendous knife. And uh, it's good to know that the, um, the F1 Pro Series isn't replacing the F1. Uh, it's simply uh, you know, an option, a, a, a variation of it. But there are some um, interesting changes to the knife. Um, first of all you'll see that actually the blade shape is slightly different, perhaps I'll just show you that. <clears throat> uh, the grind is slightly different and you'll notice that the F1 Pro blade is uh, slightly more upswept. Uh, the tang as well is a little bit thicker, it's a 5mm thick tang and it's a tapering tang as well. Uh, that gives it in the knife tremendous balance actually. Um, I've literally just had these in but just picking up and feeling it you know it's, it would be a nice knife to use. The blade is listed as 100mm long, so against 97 of the standard. Like I say, 5mm thick. And um, I guess the, one of the biggest changes is the use of the steels. This uses the cobalt laminated steel. So uh, the cobalt laminated steel is, is a steel that Volume came out with a few years ago, and they've been using it on most of their new knives. Uh, it's a very high-end, fine-grained uh, stainless steel very strong, very high wear resistance and, and very high torsional strength and with this kind of thickness of, of uh, uh, material here you know have a very high torsional strength. Um, very good edge holding and very strong so just the kind of material you'd want for a survival knife uh, about 60-61 HRC. Um, like to say that it, and again it's it's the steel is an option as opposed to it hasn't superseded VG10 which in itself is an outstanding steel but I think it's just uh, you know uh, uh, an option for people who want that but certainly in its own right it's a laminate steel very strong you know great cutting edge um, it's one of those steels all follow and steels are like that they're just good at everything um, they have excellent properties and this cobalt steel is, is uh, no different so it has the um, Thermron handle again Excellent grip, you know, grips well even with gloved hands, which is uh, very good. Uh, full broad tang, except for the um, little bit of the tang they've nibbled off top and bottom in order to, to wrap the uh, handle around. And it has the uh, tang exposed at the back and a lanyard hole there. One of the other differences you'll see is the uh, stainless steel finger guard here. It allows you to choke up on there, and that's permanently affixed to the, the knife. And you'll see that runs straight down as well as opposed to the, the slant of the original one. Convex grind still, although that grind has changed a bit. Um, they say that they, the new grind uh, gives the blade edge a bit more strength. Feels a very nice knife. Like I say, the one I've only picked up a few minutes, but uh, really outstanding. Um, I'll show you a couple of the other things they've changed as well. And one is the uh, the sheath. So this is that comes with a Zytel sheath, and the sheath has been redesigned. And again, they say that that's to make it stronger. Um, has that little lock on the finger guard and then it has a snap ring as well. But it also has these couple of lashing points that you can uh, use as well as, the, uh, as well as the loop. Just to give you a few different ways to, uh, to carry the knife. But um, you know this Pro range of knives looks uh, really outstanding. All the Fonovan um, knives are um, really good. They never rush out designs and uh, you know you can tell that they've spent a while really thinking about what could improve the F1 and you know offering a knife that does uh, uh, you know is a, is, a, is a good variation on what is one of the best knives you can buy. I can see you can see that slight uh, difference in blade shape there. So that's the F1 Pro 
Um, overall length is uh, eight and a quarter, like I say, five mil thick spine, and the weight is uh, about 0.4 of a pound. But a really nice knife. You're looking for a really high end, you know, bushcraft survival hunting knife. Have a look at this new Pro range. Uh, I'm also going to do a video on the S1 and the uh, A1 Pro series, which have uh, again just come in as well. So there you are, that's the F1 Pro. If you need any more information, you can just give me an email, paul at bushcraftcanada.com, and they are available on our site, bushcraftcanada.com, under Fall of Knives.